Teachers in the Bessemer City school system say it is nearly impossible to teach in their current hostile and stressful working conditions. The teachers aired their grievances during a meeting yesterday evening. WIET 42 News reporter Lillian Lalo joins us in the studio with an update tonight. And Lillian, parents and students are still talking about that meeting today. Yeah, well, this afternoon I spoke with a parent picking up her child at Bessemer High School, and she told me that her daughter and friends knew all about the heated board meeting last night. So tonight we're going to take a look deeper into what exactly was said at that meeting. Pamela Patterson has a daughter who's a senior at Bessemer High School. She says for the past four years, nothing has changed at the school. It's not getting any better. It's not getting any better. Tuesday's Bessemer School Board meeting started with the strike of a gavel and a prayer. Before teachers and parents shared their pent up emotion and frustration with the school system. What is this board going to do to protect us? the teachers from this toxic, hostile, stressful, unprofessional work environment. Amen. Something needs to happen before something Councilman Jesse Matthews represents District 6 for the city. He says he's been contacted by parents and teachers and stated a laundry list of complaints. He says teachers are being harassed, receive unprofessional threatening emails, are being fired because they disagree with management and teacher morale is low. And it's, it's this board's responsibility, it's y'all's responsibility to take care of our children. Multiple teachers agree. It is hard for teachers to do their jobs, stressed, depressed, and upset. I think it's unfair for our secretary to open our packages that are addressed to us before we even get them. Some board members were ready to take action. I have started to get a little frustrated because in order to say that we are going to have it's just words, it sounds good. We told Dr. Prim he has not done anything. And this is why the problem is getting worse because nobody is doing anything. That's right. Well, towards the end of the meeting, a motion was passed to start holding officials more accountable. Also, the board says they plan to set a date to meet with teachers and parents on the current issues. Lillian Lalo, WIT 42 News, coverage you can count on.